How goes it all? Welcome back to Patterson Hill Properties. Hopefully you guys have had a decent day. Um, been a minute since I made a video. You know, it's been pretty busy playing catch up and all that good stuff. But hey, we're out here. We're going to do it. And that's all she wrote before I get started. Remember Patterson, <clears throat> excuse me, Patterson Hill Properties is a wholesale real estate company where we um, help distressed property owners um, sell their properties in a timely manner. And uh, we purchase delinquent tax properties from uh, counties and cities uh, from all over the country, specifically in the um, Baltimore, Philadelphia, uh, Reading, Pennsylvania area, um, Harrisburg area, and things of that nature. Um, sell them as is properties to investors. So if you're an investor, wholesaler, and you want to connect with us, please do not hesitate to email or inbox or uh, do the great three free things first, to sh like, share, and subscribe. All right, so we're going to talk about today's housing market, you know, in 2021 and 2022, in a sense, get my perspective on it and go from there, just from what I'm thinking and what I'm seeing, you know, because we all know that the housing market has been, you know, very crazy since the beginning of the 2020 pandemic back in March. Can't believe it's still been over a year, especially with the eviction ban, the forbearance programs, et cetera, and so forth. Heck, I myself I am not purchasing rental properties unless they are in distressed state or just at a significant uh um, cheap, cheaper price. According to the Nor Norma Real Estate Investments, here are the latest housing market predictions for 2021 and 2022. The global pandemic shattered the world order and the U.S. economy suffered its biggest blow since the Great Depression in the second quarter. It has been roughly one year uh, when, when it uh, put the housing market on hold for several months. I remember that last spring, um, even when with the rising mortgage rates and the higher prices, Economists say that um, at this time, it is, um, the housing market should remain strong due to very tight inventories and increased demand as much more millennials are projected to buy houses this year in 2021. So if you're a real estate agent, um, if you're selling a house, you know, hey, it's gonna be a good year for you. Um, another reason that we'll uh, continue to see the market continue to be a seller's market is because not only the lack of homes on the market, but the lack of construction for a home Throughout the United States, a great example of why there is a lack of inventory, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, building permits, privately owned housing units authorized by building permits in March were at a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 1,766,000. This is actually a 2.7% uh, increase plus a 1.7% above the revised February rate of uh, 20, 2021. Um, and at a 1,720,000 and is actually 30.2% plus 1.8% above the March 2020 uh, rate of 1,356,000. Single family authorizations in March were at a rate of 1,199,000. This is actually a 4.6% um, plus 1.9% above the revised February figure of 1,146,000. Authorizations of units and buildings with five units or more were at a rate of 500,008 in March. Housing uh, starts privately owned, um, ho housing starts in March were actually um, seasonally adjusted annual rate of 1,739,000. This is 19.4% plus 13.7% above the revised February estimate of 1,457,000 uh, and is actually 37% um, plus 15.2% uh, above the March 2020 rate of 1,296,000. Single family housing starts in March. Uh, we're at actually a rate of 1,236,38,000. This is actually a 15.3% plus 17.4% above the revised February figure of 1,079,000. The March rate for units in buildings with five units or more were, was actually 477,000. Housing completions, privately owned housing completions in March were actually at a seasonal, seasonally adjusted annual rate of 1,580,000. This is actually 16.6% plus 14% above the revised February estimate of 1,356,000 and is 23.4% plus 13.7% above the March 2020 rate of 1,280,000 um, uh, properties. Now, single family housing completions in March were actually at a rate of 1,099,000. This is actually 5.3% plus 11.7% above the revised February rate of 1,000,000. Um, 
um, properties. Now the March rate for the units and buildings with five uh, units or more was actually at 476,000 and as um, hundreds of thousands of residents continue to leave big cities for um, suburban communities, especially since the pandemic, the lack of housing construction will continue to make things very, very interesting. Um, I've noticed within the, the last month since middle of March, um, I've seen a lot, a bigger boom of construction in multiple areas because it's just a lack of housing, especially in places where people are moving to more and more. You know, a lot more people have been leaving, like say, if you live in the DMV area, a lot of people have been leaving uh, Washington DC because they're done with the city life, especially with um, a lot of major cities were actually closed for a long time. And, you know, you most, I don't care what major city you live in, if you live in a, any major city, you're gonna pay a lot more money than you will in most suburban com communities. And with that being said, if you most people live in a major city because they actually want to be out and about, they want to be a, take right, you know, walks um, to the park, walk the streets to go to work and to the store, be able to ride their bikes, skateboards, scooters, whatever have you, go to events, things of that nature. So the appeal of living in a major city during the pandemic went completely away because people could not go to see a concert, go see a show, spending more and more time on their phones, spending more and more time doing things online and spending more and more time living in a smaller area. So um, and a lot of, for a lot of people, they got much more claustrophobic and was like, you know, I'd rather be in a bigger space, especially if you have kids, you have pets, you want to be able to be in a place where you can move around and have a little bit more privacy. So you had that happening. So the demand for, because the funny thing is before the pandemic, the demand for, um, in a lot of areas, I'm not going to say the whole country, but the demand for actually um, single family houses were actually going down. I, I remember making videos back in 2019 and the beginning of 2020, where I was talking about how a lot of um, actual housing communities for the millennial generation was actually being created for people to rent um, or for people, um, or actually building smaller homes, not bigger homes and whatnot, because people wanted to be able to um, have the option of not having to stay in one specific area because you know we live in a much more mover and shakers um, economy with or without the pandemic um, where people, a lot of times people don't mind. It's like, okay, I moved to this one area for one year. Think of it like people in the military, they move every three to four years. Sometimes they might, the orders might get extended depending on where they are stationed at. But a lot of times people have a, well, I'm gonna live here for a year or a couple of months and then go back or buy coastal, things of that nature. So a lot of times people don't actually wanna own a home. So a lot of actual communities are being built um, single family homes or um, condos are being built for, for more of a temporary status. Um, even a lot of the neighborhoods are actually being built specifically for Airbnbs, you know, um, uh, um, property owners, you know, so things of that nature. So that's the kind of, you know, economy that we're in. Um, that's the kind of housing market that we're in in certain communities and whatnot, you know, especially for those that don't have, you know, government jobs in, mili in, in the military where, you know, people are much more of a freelancer uh, independent contractors, people who work for themselves and things of that nature, or people that have a job that actually, you know, needs them to be on the go and be able to pick up and move at a moment's notice, you know? So it's, it's you know, it just depends on the situation. But now a lot of people have gotten settled and actually want a bigger home, want a bigger property. And they've got a lot of people are going to be working from home indefinitely now, especially people that work in the private sector. And my hat goes off to that because I think you need more of that because then that actually help the environment, help people not being in traffic as much, and then help actually uh, bring up people's quality of life. You know, that's just my personal opinion. But, uh, anyways, with that being said, the demand for more single family houses is actually going to increase now because more and more people and you see the prices of homes keep going up because it is definitely a seller's market and nobody sees this trend going away. We thought that it might go away this year, but now it's looking like with the actual um, forbearance and uh, with the eviction bans being increased and with the foreclosure ban being increased, that we're not gonna see this go away until maybe 2022, unless they decide to extend it again. So it's, going, it's interesting times that we're living in and it's gonna be interesting to see where this thing goes. And, you know, just like I said, I'm just giving my perspective in regards to that. And you have to um, bear in mind what a lot of people have been actually, you know, there's been a, a major increase of people leaving the major cities, not just because of the pandemic, but a lot of times because of the crime waves. Uh, that's why a lot of people have left Los Angeles. That's why a lot of people have left New York um, because of the crime, crime waves and the high cost of living. Um, and then a lot of people just like, okay, I'm done with this. It's time for me to move on. You know, in my mindset as you evolve, you disappear. So a lot of people within the last year have been in a total evolving period, whether they wanted to or not in their life. You know, we all had no choice but to evolve with the pandemic, all right? 
On that note, family, do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys have a great day. I will see you later. And like I said, if um, if you're interested, contact Patterson All Properties for your wholesale needs. If you're a wholesaler, if you're an investor, or if you're a distressed property owner, let's connect. Let's have a conversation, and we'll go from there. All right? Take care, family.